Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Summon or Skip. So we have here a new play banner, Romia and Julian. Hmm. Okay, so this is new. These are new plays. And um, let's check out their capabilities. Okay, so we'll start off with Julian. So two-piece set, it's an increase of um, magic resistance by 10. Upon entering battle, reduces damage taken by 15% for 12 times. Okay, comment here is that 12 times could be a, a ultimate, could be a, um, a damage from ultimate, passive, um, basic attack, or active attack. So that could be any of those. So taken. So once the 12 is up, then this no longer takes effect. Um, this is not really, I think, one of the most sought-after plays. Uh, it gives you probably, probably a temporary use would do, but eventually, once you use this play, you'll be you would want to upgrade to a different one, especially if you want um, your damage reduction to be more than just twelve times. But at this point, I don't see this play going to be used for the long term probably short term if you don't have anything you could actually use this but i wouldn't highly i wouldn't recommend this as a long term use for any of your characters or heroes so moving to our main event which is romia so it's a two piece set take note that this is being packaged with live right now because simultaneous again simultaneous with her banner and this one so increase in AP since that right now I see that Liv will really Liv is the only one who will clearly benefit from this because of the increase of AP. You have um, Sheru, which is AD. You have uh, Basil, which is AD. You have Icicle, which is AD as well. Um, who else? Let me Let me just have a quick reference here. On who are the other um, let me just have a quick reference guys so that we can at least have finality on hydro so who will benefit from that live probably Isa and that's it so if there's an incoming um, DPS unit uh, for hoplite definitely it's going to be AD as well so right now the only characters using them will either be Isa or Liv. Uh, Celia probably, but I don't think you'll be using Celia. So Liv is the the foremost recipient of that play. So let's go back to the play. Okie dokie. So you have this, uh, what do you call this? This play here. Okay. So again, increase in AP, which is going to be Liv as a primary recipient. 3P set upon entering battle, Hydro characters recover 0 0.8 ultimate energy every second. So, this gives you a buff to all characters, which is Hydro, which is perfect for a Hydro team. If you want to build a Hydro team, definitely go and use this. That's the only reason you're going to use this play. Otherwise, if you're not in a Hydro team, you're only, you only have live or Sheru, then don't use this play. This won't really, this will have a compounded effect if you have all four that are Hydro. But if you're not in Hydro, it's not really going to be that effective. Okay, so I'd rather you equip Liv with um, Ohita. Um, if you haven't seen that build guide, guys, you may check it out. Um, I'll put, put again a link up there so that you may see that build guide together with this one. You could decide which of the which of the plays that you would want to equip live. But this one is only going to be good for live again for a hydro team, a pure hydro team, which is for this effect that's a stack with the same play set effect. So if you have um, two sets of Rumia with another hydro, it doesn't stack. Okay, it will only choose one. After casting the ultimate, Hydro characters deal 5% more damage within 5 seconds. Which is a nice add-on. 5% is not that much, but I, I think the, 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 the good about this uh, play is the 
0.8% ultimate, which if you multiply that, basically, if you multiply that with uh, 4, 8, 16, 24, that's 3.2% across 4 of your hydros. So, again, this is a big push. The 5%, although this can be big at 20% if you know, if, if you use the same, you know, I, uh, analysis that if you have 4, that's times 20% damage, more or less. Well, it's, it's going to be good. But again, this play is not going to be your everyday play for Liv. This is going to be special with her Hydro team. So hopefully I could also put together a Hydro team with this play. Because again, I'm really, really excited for the Hydro team component with this play in that team. So that is my um, thoughts on... Those are my thoughts on this play, guys. So more or less, again, um, if you ask me, not really a must-have at this point because again it requires you to build the you will increase its viability if you have all four hydro in your team but not uh, no so again at this point i have other choices in terms of the build guide i already put a link a while back so please make sure that you check check that out uh before you decide to pull for this banner so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here